Special thank you to Breslau Research Institute, specifically to Rubiosi Katz for putting together all the incredible website and all these opportunities for us to learn about Rabbein Zalv of Nachman of Breslov. And a very special thank you and uh, Rafu Shalema for my Rebbe of 43 years, Rabbi Chaim Kramer. So Rabbein Zal has a, a fascinating, well, everything he says is fascinating, insight into Yisurin. It's actually quoted in Sikha Saran. I want to read uh, word for word for you from the words of Reb Zal who recorded the following. You'll find this in Kuf Tzadik Dalet of Sikha Saran, or Rav Nachman's Wisdom. Ama, he said the following, after all the suffering that a person goes through, even it nevertheless, Hashem yitbarach meiti vimanu, Hashem's still good to us. He's, he's, he's really taking care of us. He's with us all along. No matter how bad the Yisurin is. Raksha ein anu roitzim lahaktin et ha Yisurin. It's just, we don't want to make the Yisurin less than it is. And so we're going to make a big deal out of it. It's very powerful words. Very, very simple message here. No matter what the Yisurin is, inside, outside, health, finances, Difficult kids, difficult spouse, difficult marriage, difficult boss, difficult employees, difficult co-worker, difficult, difficult conversa, difficult community, difficult learning partner, um, difficult neighbor. Did we cover everybody? No matter what the Yisurin is, comes along Rab Nasan in the name of Rabbi Nuzal and says, the reason why we make such a big deal out of it is because she'en anu roitzim lahaktin et yisurin. We don't want to minimize it. Instead, we maximize. So it comes along Rav Nassan. The gamba emes bevadai enam yisurim katanim. It's true that the pain we're going through or the tragedy or the loss or the difficulties we're going through are not small. Aval neged veikus echad lahashem yisbarach. However, if you put all the Yisurin that we go through on one side of the scale and you put one dveikus, one moment of sensing being close to a Kaddish Baruch Hu, on the other side of the scale, whatever type of dveikus we were ever zeichet to, whether it was actually a thought or whether it was while we're davening or in wearing tefillin or the mitzvah of mezuzah or the mitzvah of tzitzit or the mitzvah of lulav or sitting in a sukkah or immersing in the mikvah, whatever the mitzvah is, lighting Shabbos candles and pouring one's heart out to a Kaddish Baruch Hu on Friday night at that etrats on that special time of favor. Kol yisurim enam kolum neged You put all yisurim on one side of the scale, they will not outweigh the other side of the scale, that one tvekus, that one sense of closeness to Hashem. It's actually through the Yisurin we can actually come close to Hashem. If we ask ourselves, you know, who's taking my, my, my health away? Now, now I'm even closer to him. I'm even more glued, davok to him. If a person loses a child, who is the one who's taking the child? It's Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Im came Adarabba. Then on the contrary, who Samach Yosef Elavis Baruch? This child who's been taken away is now closer to Hashem than he was before, and that's cause for simcha. As crazy as it sounds, we are in Olam Hasheker, Olam Adimian, Olam Hanesayon, and therefore comes along with Nachman and is telling us, even though we want to make the Yisurin much bigger and make a big deal out of it, actually, that should not be our focus. Our, sho- our focus should be on being close to Hashem. Later on, Reish Lamed Vav, also in uh, Rav Nachman's Wisdom, here in Sikha Saran, he offers that all the pain of this world, all the physical pain, all the Yisurin tragedy, loss, that we might go through Rahman al is not equal to one burn in Gehenna. So, what Rav Nachman is trying to help us understand is, don't focus on the Yisurin. Focus on the good. 
as he says in Chaimaran Tafnun Base, says there three words Taiv Hashem Tamid. The Rebbein Shalalim was good all the time. All the time. The only question is, where's my mind? What am I focused on? And how far away, even if I'm Balua, I'm like absorbed and really taking my Yisurin seriously and I'm telling everybody about what I've been through and how difficult it was and how exhausted I am and how stressed out I am from it and all the ramifications of what this typical kid is driving me crazy. <laughs> One Vekas ought to outweigh it all. And where am I? Wherever I'm thinking. And so how far am I ever away from changing my thinking? And the answer is, you're always one thought away. This is a Pasuk in the Torah, Perak Lamad in Dvarim, Pasuk Yud Gimel, I think it is. Or is it Yud Dalet? You'll check it out. Ki This item is extremely close to you. Ki karav because it's only one word away. Please, help. Sorry. And in your thoughts, last I say to do, and it's referring to Teshuva, it's referring to Torah. Torah shapes our mind. Teshuva changes our mind. How far are we ever away from changing our mind? Through Torah. A Torah Hashkafa. The Das of Sadikim Amitiyim. The minds of the greatest tzaddikim ever. How far are we ever away from changing our whole life around? And the answer is always the same. We're one thought away. Because life doesn't take place outside in. Life take, takes place inside out. And when we leave this world, as Rabbein Zal points out, the only thing we're left with is seichel and nikna. Whatever seichel that's really on the shama, he brings that as well, that whatever is our mind that we nurtured in our lifetime, that's what we take with us, leaving our body into Alam Ha'emes, into the true world. And therefore, this is what our focus needs to be. And if Has Shalom, we go through whatever we go through that is really suffering and difficult, HaKadosh Baruch wants me to remember all the Yisurin in the world would not equal one Dvekus. <laughs> one Dvekus would outweigh all the Yisurin. Here's the Yisurin and here's the Dvekus. It would outweigh it. One Dvekus. And why is that true? Because, and I'll close here, Rav Nachman tells us in Reish Pei Ches, also in Sikha Saran, that it's worth to come into this world for one Hirhur of Teshuvah. It's worth to come into this world for one good thought of being close to Hashem. One thought of Teshuvah is already worth coming to this world, no matter what Yisurin we go through, in this world and in Gehenna. And the logic is very powerful. The logic actually comes from the Vilna Gaon, who offers the following. It's a very simple logic. That the worst case scenario of a person was a Russia, and he left this world as a Russia. But he had one hero of Teshuvah, so the worst case scenario is he'll get 12 months of Gehenna, and after that he gets Ganeda and Eternity for that one hero of Teshuvah. So it comes out that coming into this world is worth it. Now, I don't suggest we should only come for one hero of Teshuvah, because in Gan Eden we'll get like the smoking section. It may not be the best uh, place in Gan Eden, but, but the Vilna Gaon is offering that much worse, and I heard this from, in the name of the Vilna Gaon from Rabbi Victor Miller of Blessed Memory, that he says that the, here's the very simple logic. When a person does an Avera, that is not as bad as losing out on the opportunity to do a mitzvah. The loss of a chance to do a mitzvah is far worse because the loss of a mitzvah is eternity. The Avera, there's a consequence for that, and the worst consequence is 12 months. And this is what Rabbi Nuzal is telling us. No matter what we go through in this world, it's worth it. It's worth it, even just for one smile. Rabbi Shalom, I still love you no matter what. One Shema Yisrael. One putting on of tefillin. One time putting on sitzit. Kal Vahima, how much more so that we have so much to be grateful for. The I'm happy you made me a Jew. I'm a, thank you for bringing me close to you. Thank you for giving me Tzadikim, who, the Rav Shimon Bar Yochai, the Baal Shem HaKadosh, the Arizal, Rav Nachman of Breslov. Thank you for all the Tzadikim of the Tanaim and the Amorayim that we learn in Mishnayas and in Gemara. Thank you for Rabbeinu Yosef Karo, who gave us the Shulchan Aruch. Thank you for the Rambam. Thank you for all my health. There's so much to be grateful for. And every single thank you 
is tipping the scales. The in Olam Ha'emes, oh, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. And this is what Rav Nachman is telling us to be focused on. Even though we, we don't want to make the Yisurin small, we want to make them real big. Oh, Ma'yit Oinen Adam Chai. And I really will close on this. It's a Pasuk in Eicha, Perak Gimel, Pasuk Lamates. Ma'yit Oinen Adam Chai. Your person is alive. What's he complaining about? Geva al Chatov. If he, if he wants to complain, he should complain about his mistakes. But, but, but while I'm alive, I'm complaining about Corona? Lockdown? <laughs> I can't go to Minyan? I mean, what am I complaining about? Says a Kaddish Baruch look over there. In Eicha, Pera Gimel, Pasuk, Lamates, you look at the, the Radak and the Mepharshim, Matsudas, and tells us, and med, the Medrash on that Pasuk says, Ani, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I gave him Chiyusai. He's got his Chiyus, his life force, I gave it to him. Va'oid, who mit oinen alai. And he's still complaining about the world, the life I gave him? Who's causing him to breathe? I've got no reason in the world to complain. But I don't want to make the Yisraelim big or small. I want to make them big, big, big. Rabbi Nassau wants me to be clear. That's not what I'm in this world for. I'm in this world, b'chata b'chaim, choose simcha. In the schus of following in the ways of the tzaddiki mamitim who gave us the das, the, the knowledge and the realization, the awareness that this is what Hashem wants more than anything else. To be besimcha, no matter what. We should be zaycha to see Rufu Shlema for Rabbi Chaim Kramer, Menachem Le- uh, Haim Menachem Ben Leah, and all, all the Chayle Yisrael. Amen.